Hi everyone, I'm very excited to be making this blog post. This is the first time that instead of writing out my blog post, I'm making a video tutorial. So I hope this is easier to follow than to actually read through a whole blog post. But today what we're going to be doing is creating a signature for your blog post. And well, before I dive in, actually, I want to show you how that looks like. Uh, so this is my website, uh, my uh, health coaching, vegan uh, nutrition website. It's called Real Living with Bia. And if you go to my blogs, you will see that at the bottom of every blog post, I have a handwritten signature. Sorry, taking a little bit too low today. Um, so let's go to this one, chocolate muffins, because we all like muffins. So if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see that I have a handwritten signature that I actually created by writing pen on paper on my desk and transferring it into the computer and making it into a signature that I can use on my blog. So the reason why I do this is I think it adds a really nice touch. I think it differentiates my blog from like uh, someone else and I want to give you the option to do the same thing for yourself. I think it's a really, really nice thing you can do to really feel like your um, listeners and your followers are really listening straight from you you know because it's, it's your actual signature that you're creating and adding to your blog uh, so let's go on with it so to create the signature we will be using photoshop uh, right here at the bottom if you don't have photoshop i'll add a link for you guys on the blog post uh, corresponding to this video on how you can get photoshop it's not very expensive you can have like a monthly plan that you pay for photoshop it's such an amazing tool you can use to edit your photos as well and make really cool graphics so i highly recommend to have photoshop if you're someone that is working with a blog or instagram and you really want to you know make things uh look extra awesome so we'll be using photoshop today and uh, so here it is the first step for you to create your signature is to actually write it out on pen on paper so this was me today this is my desk, uh, and as you can see, I got an index paper, and I use a thin Sharpie, and I wrote my name on it, uh, Bia Alvarez. And keep a thickness in mind if you... Oh, hello there. I got an email. Huh. If you want your signature to be thin, use a thin pen. If you want it to be thicker, you know, use like a thicker Sharpie. It's completely up to you. It doesn't really matter. I like my signature to be thin, so I use a, a Sharpie, and I think that a Sharpie is really nice because it's not too thin, and it makes the edges uh, very crisp. So this is my desk, and so I wrote on a piece of paper. Now, you have to transfer this signature and this piece of paper onto my computer. I had to take a photo of it with my phone. So this is really nice because you don't need to have a scanner or any fancy anything. You just use your phone. I have an iPhone. So I took a photo of the piece of paper. Now I'm going to show you what not to do and then what to do. So right here on my desk, I just took a photo of the piece of paper and this is what you do not want to do because you have too many light sources coming in and then here is really dark and it's kind of far away from your signature and it's not super sharp. So this is not um, the correct setup, I would say, to make this work. Now, what would be a better option is for you to go outside and get some natural sunlight. So this is a photo of my balcony and this is a little stool that we have out there. So I just posted my index card here and using the natural light outside, I took a photo of my signature and this is how it looked like. So very nice, crisp, not a lot of different shadows. It's a little blue, but we can change that on the computer. That's not a problem. And then the next thing I did was I took a photo of it under the sun. So this was the only little bit of sun that I had on my balcony today uh, at the time that I created this. So I put my index card by the sun and I took a photo up close and this is how it turned out. So I think this was the best option out of all of them. So I'll be using this one today. So you see how what a huge difference it will be to edit 
something like this compared to something like this. There's way less like shadows and things that I have to manage here compared to something like this one. So you just want to make your life easier. So definitely have good lighting it will make your life much, much easier. So now that I have my photo, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to open with Photoshop. And once it opens on Photoshop, uh, first thing I want to do is go to layers. And right now my image is a background. I want to right click on it and I'm going to layer from background and I'm going to press OK. And I make sure to select that layer and then I'm going to close this window. Second thing I want to do is I want to crop this image. So I'm going to crop, uh, choose the crop tool right here. And I'm going to crop this image down to my signature. So I don't have to deal with all of this empty space. It's just a necessary work for me to have to worry about it. So that looks good. I'm going to press this check mark here at the top. And there you go, it's cropped. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image, adjust, and I'm going to turn it into a black and white photo. And I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to go to image again, adjust, and I'm going to go to levels. So this is an important step on this process. Um, you want to make sure that your preview checkbox has been checked before you start this. And here we're going to use the eye drops. Um, this one is a white eye drop. This is a mid-tones and this is a dark eye drop. We're going to start with the white one. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go over to my image and I'm going to click on the sections of my image that I want to be the widest. That's what this tool does. Okay, so what do I want to be the widest? My background. I want my whole background to be as white as possible. So I'm going to click on the background. See, it already makes a big difference. But you can still see there's a lot of like gray going on. And I noticed that right here seems to be the darkest and here is really bright. So I'm going to click here again. Makes it even brighter. I'm going to clip clicking. You can just click around on the grays of your background. And sometimes it goes back. See, you just have to play around and see which one works best. Oh, that looks really nice. Because the goal here is not to make... I think that's the best one. The goal is not to make your background completely white, perfectly white. Because if I zoom in... Oh, I can't zoom in. Okay. If I zoom in... Actually, I should be able to. Oh, no. Don't do that. Sorry. Let me undo that. Huh. Um, okay. For some reason, I can't zoom in right now, but if I zoom in, I can see close up to my computer that there's some still like gray dots around. But that's okay, because we are going to erase your background. The main goal here is to create a very sharp contrast between your signature and the white background. So now that I have the background as white as I can right now, I'm going to select the black eye drop go back to my signature and now I'm gonna click on the sections of my image that I want to be the darkest and that'll be my signature, right? So if I click on it, oh, see how much darker now? So I'm just gonna keep clicking around. Ah, oh, that looks great. That looks great. Look very dark and sharp. I love it. I'm gonna press OK. And there you go. Now, I want to erase this background completely. Because if I go in, do you see how it has all the little marks from the paper? Yeah, we don't want this on your blog. It's not going to look very nice. So what I'm going to do is I want to select my signature to allow me to erase my background. So to do that, we're going to use the quick selection tool. And right here, we're going to select the plus instead of the minus. Okay, the plus. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, go here to the front. And my tool is very small. I think I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Yeah, that's see, maybe a little bit. As long as it fits within my signature, you see the circle? That's good. So I'm going to go around and select. And you see how it selects all of these? So you just click around your signature. 
and let the tool do its awesome job. Great. Very easy. And it's only being this easy because we first created a very nice contrast between the background and the signature. If we didn't have this contrast, this tool would not be working as well as it's working right now. It works best when you have very high contrast and clearly defined lines. So I'm almost done. All right. Awesome. Uh, if there's anything that the selection tool selects that you do not want to be selected, you can come here and select the minus sign. So right here in the curve of my V, see how the interior white space is selected? I don't want that to be selected, so I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm going to click here to unselect the middle. Perfect. And then I'm going to zoom out. Awesome. So you can see the little lines moving around that your signature is selected. Um, before I erase the background, I'm going to take the opportunity, since my signature is selected right now, to make it a bit darker and uh, more evenly black. So I'm going to select the brush tool. And I'm going to click here on, actually I'm going to go to swatches and I'm just going to click on black. And I'm going to paint and you see that only what's selected, which is my signature, is being painted. And it's being, now it's like an even black all around my signature, which I really like. But you don't need to do this, you can keep it um, how it was before, I just want it to be like a very nice black all around. Great. Now. While it's still selected, you want to go to select over here and we're going to inverse. So now the background is selected and your signature is no longer selected. We're going to get the erase tool and I'm going to erase the background. So when you have this checker marks on the background, you know that the, there's no background in your image anymore and that's exactly what we want. Make sure you get those edges. Perfect! Now I'm gonna go to select and this select and that's it! My signature is done! It's ready to use on my blog. Uh, to save it I'm gonna click on file and okay <laughs> work with me. File and save and there's many formats you can save it under the best formats always when using images on your website will always be JPEG and PNG. Uh, that's the best one for web use. However, PNG makes the background automatically white, which I don't want to do. I want my background to continue to be non-existent. I want it to be transparent, so I'm going to save it as a PNG. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to name it blog signature and I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep it medium file size I think that's fine actually I'm gonna make it yeah medium is fine I'm gonna save and you see right here it's saving 40% okay perfect awesome so here you go I'm gonna open it for you guys to see yeah and I mean, if I like zoom in a lot, the edges are not perfect and we could make it better. But to be honest, this is about the size of how the signature will look on the website. It doesn't have to be perfect edges. I think it would be a waste of time, honestly, to try to make all the edges perfect since the uh, signature will be in a small size. So this is more than good enough, I would say, to use it on your blog. All right, so I'm going to open up my blog again. Now I'm going to take you guys to the back end of my Squarespace blog. So if you have a Squarespace, it would be really useful to help you add your signature to your Squarespace blog. Um, so right here, 
I have one of the blogs. Actually, I'm going to take you through the process really quickly. So this is my home page. Okay, and this is the back end of Squarespace. So if I go to pages, I have all of my pages here. And I'm going to go down. And this is my blog page. So these are my recent blog posts. And this is the last blog post that I published last week. And I want to add a signature to the bottom of this post. So I'm going to click here, edit, post edit, you see? Just taking a second to load. Okay. And I'm going to go all the way down. All right. So I want to add a signature right here. And you're going to see a difference. Like, Look at this right now. You come to the end of the post and there's a little message, but you know, it, it just needs like a little touch of a little something something. You know, and I think that's what the signature adds, like a little extra detail to your blog. So to add the signature, we're going to add it as if it was just any other photo that you add to your Squarespace page. So I'm going to click on this. I have no idea what to call this, this little like line job thing <laughs> and I'm gonna click on image because I'm gonna add an image now I'm gonna drag and drop my signature right here into this box and it's loading but as soon as it's done loading it's gonna show up here perfect so I'm gonna put apply so now you see how huge it is uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a spacer. Now I'm going to hold and drag right here to the side of my signature. And you want to make sure that you don't do this. Okay, you see this long line here? That's where you're adding your spacer. I don't want to add the spacer all along my blog. I wanted to add it just next to my signature, so I'm going to come in to the left a little, and now you see how the line is only next to my signature? That's what you want to happen, okay? I'm going to just drop it there, and I'll have a spacer next to an image. And I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Oh, better is I. It's okay, we're almost done. So I would like my signature to be a bit smaller, just like that. looks good. I'm going to save. Great. So if I click right here on the corner of my page, it opens up full width, just like someone was looking at my website. And there you go. This is the end of my blog, just above the comments um, and my footer. You have my little signature. And it definitely adds like a little touch of, you know, something special, I think. I think it really transforms your blog into something a little more like personal. Uh, so there you go. I hope this was helpful to you and really easy to follow. Please leave me a comment if uh, you like the structure of this blog today. And I'll see you guys soon.